the loneliest town in the world with a population of just one person. It's a real incorporated town called Manawai, right in the middle of Nebraska. Now, the first thing I thought when I saw this was, why would anyone want to live there? And also, how does this town even exist? I had to go there and find out. You were serious about it? Yeah. Oh, Dude, what if we get there and there's just nobody there? That would suck. This is a horrible idea. Yeah, we have no idea what we're getting into. <laughs> Three hours to uh, where are we going again? Loneliest town in the world. Here we go. Just like every street we pass, we keep getting closer and closer to absolutely nowhere. We really just took two flights and we have no idea what we're doing. There no could one. be no one there. Yeah. I'm just worried about, you know, we don't have food or water and we're three hours away from society. <laughs> I don't know, dude. I'm starting to get sketched out. Well, there we go. What the f Peter? <laughs> oh my gosh. One person. <laughs> dude, I swear, there's way more cows than people out here. You think that's like a mile marker? Like it's one mile away. Yeah, that's what That's it how many like. people are here. So I'm spending 24 hours here. Okay, if I'm being completely honest, I actually get lonely a lot. I'm also starting to get a bit lonely. I feel really lonely. And I live in a city, so when I saw this, I was like, I have to go here, I have to find out who lives here and how they're not lonely. Oh, also, if you get to talk to who lives here, I have a surprise for Manuel. Which is that eventually, I'll have to do this video without him. The real reason I came here was to overcome my loneliness, and if I really want to do that, I'll have to be all by myself, just like whoever lives here. Is it safe to park our car there, you think? I, I hope. It's so cold, too. Yeah, what it's very cold. In January? We shouldn't check out those abandoned houses, right? Why didn't you just... I thought we have to check it out. <laughs> this feels like every horror movie. Dude, this is really... Dude, I don't know if we're... Literally every step we take could collapse. I think you should go first. I wonder, like, the last time someone lived in here. About, oh, like, 30,000 years ago? <laughs> oh, my gosh. They got a TV right there. Wow. Dude, that's so old. I didn't even recognize it. I really don't think we should be here. Like, normally, I would, like, want to, like, mess around and everything. But this is, like, I've never done something. This is sketch. At least it's warmer in here. So you, I mean, like, it's just like, what happened? Like, how, how does, why did everybody leave, you know? It's not a ghost town, though. Like, it was a small town before. But how did it go down to one person? Where is that one person, too? Okay, so there's a car parked right there. I feel like this is, like, somebody's house. Oh, I see someone. I see someone. Why did we just walk in? You sure? Hello. Hi. How are you? Okay. Where are you guys from? Yeah. We flew here from North Carolina. We came a long way. <laughs> This was literally the most awkward I have ever felt in my life. We learned the only resident was an 88-year-old lady named Elsie, who luckily agreed to an interview. All right, well, we're the only ones here now with Elsie. She's been lovely. The burgers are really good. Thank you. I think the first thing I want to know is what happened to the town from to go to, like, I guess how many people there were and down just to you. It was a going little town, a railroad, and we had a school and a high school. We had a bank, really? a couple of grocery stores. It's strictly agricultural. Mm -hmm. There's not much in Industries. It doesn't leave much of anything for our young people. Yeah, we're in the middle of the road. Yeah, no one's gonna hit us. There's no one drives. <laughs> Slowly, no cars here. That's so this, where we're going for. Yeah, you take the lead just in case oh, something yeah. bites you. This doesn't look abandoned. Okay, now it does. <laughs> dude, look how old this saw is. Oh my god. Oh, dude, it's so rusty. <laughs> on the frying pan tell. That's what I'm staying at night. <laughs> so the tavern opened just over 50 years ago. How many people were here then? At its height, they tell me there was 140 to 150 people. Mm -hmm. And when we took it over, there were like 11 people. And then there were down to the two of us. And since 04, why it's been just one. So why'd you stay here? Wasn't any place else I really wanted to go. <laughs> really? I know everybody for miles and miles and miles. Oh, These really? guys are from O'Neill, which is 50 miles from here. That's what neighbors around here are, you know. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I guess this is the only part that's not a bad. Should I? Oh my gosh! Oh my! Oh my god! What the? F Holy sh! Is that alive? Dude, no, it's dead. Wait, I think we just saw a fox. If this fox is here, that means there's a sh lord out there as well. So you have a house here? And we have yeah, cabin. well, it's, it's a trailer. Where are all the other buildings? Well, a lot of them were homes. The one right next door was actually a grocery store, and the big building across the street was a grocery store. So we learned a lot about Elsie and what life was like here, but it was time to ask the most important question of them all. Elsie, are you lonely? 
way. I have always preferred my private time. So that's what I say when I lock up here at night and go home, I'm perfectly happy to be there in my house until I get around to come back. I sometimes get a little lonesome to see my grandkids and great grandkids and of course my daughter. I really don't get lonesome. I I get lonely sometimes. I live in a city. So. <laughs> <laughs> I need quiet, and I guess that's why I enjoy this. A lot of times I hardly even leave the house. Seems you know? like everyone's really nice out here. It's like a community. Yes, you yes. Know? Well, one yeah. thing I gotta show you is my badge. It says Village Marshal. No one's it's coming so around funny. messing with you when you yeah. have this on. <laughs> <laughs> on the other side where it says Rudy's Library, that's my husband's books and stuff. Elsie taught me a lot about being content just by yourself, but that was gonna be a lot easier said than done. It was time to tell Manuel what this video is really about. Okay, you take care now. Yes, take care. I kinda feel bad now because we just left her. <laughs> I figured out what I have to do to do this video right. What? I have to be alone. How you gotta you? get out. I, what? I have to enjoy myself alone. You're gonna find no peace being alone. Okay, if she can be happy here and she's voluntarily stayed here alone for 17 years, why can't I? Just for 24 hours. All right, bye Manuel. Okay, what did I just do? Oh man. You know what? No, this is gonna be good. This is what I need. You know what? I'm just gonna start by reflecting on life. The goal here is to be lonely for the rest of the video, but after talking to Elsie, I mean, I'm gonna really try to enjoy it because a lot of times I don't, I'll be honest. I'm in the motel. We got a bed, we got a TV. I'm actually kind of happy. Peter doesn't have any of this. And most importantly, Peter doesn't have this. A bathroom. He's just gonna do absolutely nothing. Your night's gonna be horrible. What are you doing, Peter? FaceTime on a boat. Wow. He wasn't joking. He's not gonna use his phone the entire night. All right, I'm outside now, pitch black. I'm gonna try to show you guys. There's more abandoned houses. There's like an old shed here. Dude, <laughs> this is so scary. Oh, hell no. What? Just enjoying some alone time, right? <laughs> Yo, there's one more house. This is, oh, this is a pretty big house. All right, I can see inside. There's some windows. Oh, dude, what if there's a person right there? Dude, it's crazy what happens to an abandoned town. Nah, that is the creepiest thing I've ever seen. Being alone gave me the chance to talk to people I would never normally talk to. Hello. Hello, how are you? Good, how are you? Not too bad. There are actually still some people in the tavern. Hi, how's it going? Good. Yep. Nah, what you and me are I don't speak stubby. <laughs> I don't either. Just took a really hot shower. So refreshing. Peter, you missed out, my friend. Wow, that, that was great. Just talking to people living completely different lives. I feel like when you're alone, it like forces you to talk to people you don't know. And it's cool to see firsthand, you know, everybody's coming to visit Elsie. Just, you know, when the day's over and everybody goes back to their houses, I mean, who's here? It's just her. But yeah, I'm just gonna be honest. It really did hit me, especially in the VR video. I think I just accepted I am lonely. A lot of the time. I think it's just the nature of YouTube sometimes. You gotta work a lot alone. <laughs> also, honestly, like a lot of people my age just don't have the same interests as me, so it's hard to relate to them. I think this is gonna be good though. You know, I'm gonna be completely alone now. I just have to find peace with myself and myself only. It's time to fall asleep in this nice, warm bed. Ah, Peter, you made the worst decision ever. At first, I was weirded out. I'm like, where am I going? Which hotel am I going to? And now, this is it. This is the life. Peter, I hope you're having a great night of sleep. <laughs> if you can, loser. Suck it, Peter. I don't know how I'm gonna sleep. <laughs> this is not a Tesla. This thing reclines, right? Yeah. I was honestly going through it. I felt just empty. Couldn't sleep. Nobody to talk to all night. Then the sun started coming up. I still can't get over how quiet it is. Like, this is just dead silence. And with only a few hours left, I was still trying to make friends. Hi, I'm not gonna hurt you. Oh, oh he doesn't wanna, I think he's afraid of me. I wanted to pet him. After finally accepting there wasn't a single person around to talk to, I started having a lot of fun exploring, eating. This wasn't a challenge anymore. I learned if you really take a step back and put the phone down, you can have a really good time with just yourself. All thanks to Elsie.